Okay, welcome back. So this is um, the last set of videos for the Instagram a series where we try to make something as similar to Instagram as far as the functionality as well as using IG list kit. And in this video is the continuation of the third video where we um, determined if the user was private or not. So if you haven't seen that, check the link below. I also have a link to the beginning of this section as well as the beginning of the entire section for this Instagram. Okay, so I just created this little cell and what it's going to do is have a place for the user's image, their um, username, and a way to approve or reject the user. All right, so we need to, a couple things. We need an actual class to handle this. So let's create our classes for our view and our cell view. All right, so I'm going to create a couple touch class here. And it's going to be a table view controller. We're going to just go ahead and create that. And we also are going to need a new file, Cocoa Touch class, a table view cell. And we can probably name this something special, but right now I'm not going to worry about that. I'm just going to save that as a generic table view cell class. So, all right, now let's go back to our storyboard and let's go ahead and set our new table views class as our table view and our cell class as our table cell. All right, now we just need to connect these things up in our cell view. So I'm just going to do a split screen here with my, I'm just gonna select automatic table view controller. That's not what I'm trying to get. I'm trying to get this. So I highlight that and then I'm just going to automatically switch to our table view cell. All right, so here I am. Let me get rid of some of this other stuff that I don't need right now. I don't actually need that as well. So here we are. I have my cell and I just need to connect these outlets. I need to connect our image, our label, and then um, as well as our accept and reject button in here. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm going to do image view, right? And we also need to have a label, which is going to be our username. All right, so let's see. This is our table view cell. We have our image and our label. Now we just need access to the accept. Which is going to be these buttons. I'm just gonna pop those over here. And it's gonna be an action. We're going to say accept follower button. We also need a reject. So I'm just going to drag this over here. I'm going to change this to action and I'm going to say reject follower button. And let's just do some print statements here. 
right, so basically what we want to happen is when we look in here, we want to see all of our users that have requested to follow us and have the ability to either accept or reject them. All right, so another thing we could possibly do is transition from here to their profile. Uh, we don't have that set up here, uh, but what you would do is just create a segue so that users like a profile page, like a profile view controller, and then populate that information. So they're, they're kind of profile data and to allow a user to view um, who exactly wants to follow them. All right, so now that we've taken care of our cell, what we need to do is actually, let's do one more thing in our cell. And let's go to our table view controller. All right, so here are table view data. So we have to grab our data in order to select this. So the number of sections, we're only gonna have one section and we need to create the data here. Um, we can actually, let's actually go back to our follow request controller. And let's just, so let's just create a way to get all of our following. So I'm just going to create a let follower or request equal some type of user array array of users all right so we want to be able to grab these users or a way to get users from our database so i'm just going to create a function here uh, get user requested users all right so from firebase what i want to do let's just hop back into firebase really quickly we want to create i know we want to create um users so let's say my users my or yeah my requested users okay uh reference is going to be equal to our database reference so so we're going to get this location um, and then what we're going to do with that is we're just going to pull on the information in from this and we could do an if let, right? And then here we just, we'll do everything that we would need to do. So we just take our user and then we observe, we can actually do this and I'll just change this to current user I'll just do a database reference here too so I can kind of get this auto correction it's going to be a FIR database reference so that way I can just kind of clean this up a little bit DB reference where Okay, dot, don't need this here. So I'm going to create, let's make sure I have everything. Firebase database reference dot, okay, there we go. Um, we want to grab, observe a single event. All right, dot observe a single event of a snapshot of a value, right? 
and snap shot. All right, so now that we have that, we just want to save it to some a dictionary. So what we want to do is we just want to loop at this dictionary and save all the values. So let's see, let's print this user. Okay, so the first thing I wanna do is I'm just gonna go ahead and set this up to log out of this one so I can log into the other one. All right, so I'm just going to add this. Let um, our follow request controller. So I need access to our controller. All right, and then I'm just going to call it here. Follow request controller dot get requested user. We actually don't need this database reference here, especially since we're already calling, we're already importing a Firebase here. So I don't really need this. Okay. Let's just do Firebase database dot reference. Oops, database. here. All right, so that looks good. Just going to go ahead and run that. So when a user comes in, All right, so I'm just going to log in and I'm going to log in with our test user, our user that we've been trying to follow. And password is always password. And of course, you don't wanna have it clear text once you do all your business, but you know. All right, so when we select this, we get this table, but there's nothing being populated because we haven't actually done that part yet. But as you see down in the bottom, we have, let me, we have our user. So we have me that I've, I've been trying to follow you for a while and you know, you haven't allowed me to follow you. So it's just a dictionary of items under this user. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab this information or to fill the cell and Let's go ahead and continue there. So now that we know we're getting the, what we need, when we do this request, the data, um, let's go ahead and save that into this array and feed it back. All right, so, so back here, so we're getting this. So for all the users in here, what we want to do is get the user. All right, so I need the users Username. Let's just do a guard let. And this is going to equal the username. User info. The value for username. Else we're going to return and we're going to need the same thing for our photo.
And I believe that's profile photo. Or profile URL. Let's make sure. So profile photo. And I think, what else do we need for our user? So I'm just going into my model here. The user is, okay, so we also need user ID. All right, so once we have all this, I want to create a new user. So I want to say this request dot append, right? Contents of, we want to append a user class. Open that up, add this. So username. Okay, so we're gonna go through and we're just going to fill up this array of requests with um, our users. Okay, so let's go ahead and continue to push through. So we know that the number of items is going to be um, for, there's gonna be what's in this controller the array found within here. So we're gonna return controller dot request dot count. That's how many items we're gonna have, number of rows we're gonna have in our table. And then we need to implement all of this. So it's getting kind of late. So now that we have our data, I'm just going to go ahead and stop here. And in the next video, we're just going to worry about populating the table with the user's information. Okay. All right, so I guess I'll see you guys later. And until then, have a great night.